Welcome to Fred and Amy's Math, Math Shack. Shack. We are rounding decimals to one decimal place and two decimal places. What's a decimal place? A decimal place is this. So here, the three is classed as your first decimal place. The one is classed as your second decimal place and your eight is classed as your as being in the third decimal place. Yes, we know this is three tenths and one hundredth and eight thousandths, but we say that the position here, the three is, is the first decimal place. The one is the second decimal place and the eight is the third decimal place. But they still have this place value, three tenths, one hundredth and eight thousandths. But it's just a way of referring to its position first, second, third decimal places. And of course this keeps going if you if you think keep keeps going beyond here as well, just like it does in the opposite direction as well. Okay, to be able to round any numbers in fact, you need to know this poem, or at least know the rule that this poem is talking about. So let's have a look at this little, this little rhyme or poem. Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. So you can see here, five or more, what does that mean? It means five, six, seven, eight, nine, let it soar. Four or less, what does that mean? Four, three, two or one, let it rest. Now, what's that mean? Well, we're gonna look at that in a bit more detail in a moment. Okay, first examples, rounding to one decimal place. So let's have a look at this scale here. And the question says round 3.24 to one decimal place. That means you just want one thing after the decimal point. So you are either rounding to 3.2, this one, or you're rounding to this one. And the question is, which one is it? 3.2 or 3.3? Because if we're rounding to one decimal place, we just want one thing after the decimal point. Well, let's have a look. Where is 3.24? Well, 3.24 is here. And you might be able to see that this is halfway 3.25. So you can see that this, three point, this number 3.24 is closer to 3.2. So if we rounded this to one decimal place, it's 3.2. 3.2 to one decimal place. But why is that? Well, let's have a look at why. Yes, we can see on the scale here that it's closer to 3.2, but why, why does it round to 3.2? to 3.2. Well, it's because if you look at this digit here, the four, which is in the second decimal place, you have to think back to that little rhyme, five or more, let it soar, four or less, let it rest. Well, this is four. So I'm going to let it rest at 3.2. Let's look at this example down here now, round 7.68 to one decimal place. Well, to one decimal place, you have to pick one of these two numbers, 7.6 or 7.7, .7, okay? Because we just want one thing after the decimal place, after the decimal point, one decimal place. Well, where is 7.68? 7.68 is here. And you can see that it's much closer to this one. So therefore, if we round 7.68 to one decimal place, we get 7.7. .7. But why do we get that? Yes, we can see it looks closer, but why? Well, have a look at this digit here, and this is in the second decimal place. That is five or more, that number. So we have let it soar up to 7.7. .7. Let's have a look at a few more examples of that. So I'm now going to take the scales away. We're just going to look at the place value table. 
So the question says round 9.47 to one decimal place. So let's put 9.47 into here. 9.47. 9.47. And to one decimal place. To one decimal place, that means I just want one thing after the decimal point. Okay, so I have to kind of think about it as a line being drawn here. I want one thing after the decimal point. But I have to look just immediately next door and I have to say to myself, does that affect that four? So let's have a think of our, about our rhyme. Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. Well, this number here is five or more. It's seven. So we've got to let this digit soar, okay? And it's going to soar to 9.5. Okay, so it's going to soar to 9.5. Let's have a look at another example. Round 8.03 to one decimal place. So I want one thing after the decimal point. So you've got to think about drawing a line here. And you say to yourself, well, just look next door. Does that affect that zero? Well, it's four or less, isn't it? Three is four or less. So I've got to let it rest. Let it rest at 8.0. Okay, I'm just going to let it rest at 8.0. One more example to one decimal place 12.15. So here we go 12.15. But I only want one thing after the decimal point. So I've got to think about this and I'm going to say, does this number affect my one thing after the decimal place after the decimal point yes it does because it's five or more so it's gonna let it soar 12.2 it's gonna go up to 12.2 to one decimal place Okay, rounding to two decimal places, very similar, very similar, rounding to two decimal places. Here, we've got round 4.557 to two decimal places. So you want now two things. Here they've got three things after the decimal place, but I, after the decimal point, but I don't want three things, I want only two things. So my two options are 4.55 or 4.56. Well, let's have a look at where 4.557 is. It's here. So it's clearly closer to this one, 4.56. But let's just have a closer look at that now. Why does it round to 4.56? Well, because the third decimal place means that that second decimal place goes up because it's five or more, let it soar. So that five becomes a six, goes up to six. But you can see also on the scale that it's closer to 4.56. What about rounding 2.065 to two decimal places? Well, again, we've got three things after the decimal point here, but I don't want three things. I only want two things because that's what rounding to a given number of decimal places means. So I've got one of two options, 2.06 or 2.07. Well, where is... 2.065. Well, 2.065 actually is right in the middle. So you might think, well, it's not closer to one of the two of those. But let's think about our rhyme. Our rhyme says, five or more, let it soar. Well, my third decimal place here is five or more, which means that my, my six soars up to a seven. Okay, so it's going to be 2.07. Okay, a couple of examples. Round 5.085 to two decimal places. 
So I want two things after the decimal point now. So I'm going to put my dotted line after two things. And I have to ask myself, does this number change this one? Well, it's five or more. So it lets it soar up to 5.09. It's worth telling you that just because that becomes a 9, it doesn't keep having a knock-on effect, okay? Once you've sorted this out, it doesn't then change the 0, okay? It just stays as 5.09. It doesn't keep having a knock-on effect on all the other columns, okay? Just sort out your second decimal place and that is it for the time being. What about rounding 2.154 to two decimal places? So 2.154. I've got three things after the decimal point, but I don't want three things. I want two things because I'm rounding to two decimal places. I want two things. And I ask myself, does that four affect the five? Well, it's four or less, so I'm letting it rest. 2.15 and again like I said in the previous um, on the previous uh, slide just because that is a 5 it doesn't keep having a knock-on effect okay that 5 doesn't now uh, change that one okay this is just to two decimal places and that's it that's where you stop And this one, 1.097, apologies, 907 to two decimal places. Again, I, I don't want three things after the decimal point. I only want two things because I'm rounding to two decimal places. Does this seven affect the zero? Yes, it's five or more. So it lets it soar up to 1.91 1.91 okay this is your main classwork I would like you to write out these numbers and then tell me what they are rounded to in question one one decimal place and in question two to two decimal places In a moment, rewind back to this to have a look at the questions, but I'm going to show you some extension tasks if you would like to have a go at them. So extension one and two, it says give some possible numbers that would round to this if they were rounded to one decimal place. So you've got to give me some examples that would round to 4.7. So I'll give you some examples. Imagine if 4.7 was the number and I'm trying to look, give some examples that would round to 4.7. Okay, so some numbers that would round to 4.7 are 4.73. That would round to 4.7, to one decimal place. Uh, 4.65 would round to 4.7. And 4.709, that would also round to 4.7, to one decimal place. So they're just a couple of examples, to one decimal place. Similarly, for two decimal places here, got 42.78. Give some possible examples that would round to that. Well, a couple of examples would be 42.783, that would round to this. Um, what else would round to this? 42.779, that would round to 42.78. And another one, 
seven, what should we go for? Seven, seven, five would also round up to 42.78. Okay, so you're just gonna give a couple of examples for each question so that they would round to this number. Okay, and they're your extension questions.